This short introduction video will give you an overview of the Treasure Data solution, how it works, and introduce you to some of the main concepts of Treasure Data. Treasure Data is a managed cloud service that makes it fast and easy to collect, store, and analyze massive volumes of event-oriented data, such as data from mobile devices, sensors, games, ad tech, clickstream, and many others. We've built this service for folks who want to collect large volumes of event data and who want to access, explore, and analyze that data without having to design, assemble, or manage their own end-to-end -end big data infrastructure. So what can you do with it? With Treasure Data, you can get visibility into how your product is performing or how people are using your product by collecting your product event data or app logs in Treasure Data and asking flexible and iterative questions using familiar SQL. Or you can track how gamers are playing your game how quickly they are advancing levels or getting stuck, or perhaps compare gold inflows versus outflows to detect in-game economy imbalances. Just by collecting all of your game's events and treasure data and asking your questions using SQL or SQL-based BI tools. Or you can record every ad impression, click, and bid, and store in an infinite and economical cloud-based repository, then query, aggregate, roll up, compare, or join to your heart's content. Now let's cover the main concepts you'll want to be familiar with when working with Treasure Data. In terms of functionality, Treasure Data can be split into two main halves. Collection, which puts data into Treasure Data, and Access and Analysis, which enables you to work with the data once it's in Treasure Data. Treasure Data includes a variety of collectors, including agents and SDKs, that make it easy to send data into the Treasure Data Managed Cloud Service, where data is automatically organized and stored into familiar tables that can be queried using familiar SQL as if they were in a common relational database. This means you can easily collect streaming event data from various different sources, and anyone who is familiar with SQL queries has self-service access to explore the data as it arrives. Let's look closer at the collection side. Treasure Data has several different types of collectors today, and we are always expanding our collection side of the service. We have server-side agents, bulk importers, mobile and embedded SDKs, a JavaScript SDK, and a web-based small file uploader. We're frequently adding ways to collect data, so for the latest list, please check our documentation at docs.treasuredata.com. For data generating applications that reside on a server, we suggest using our lightweight server-side agent called the Treasure Agent. The Treasure Agent is based on the open source project FluentD. The FluentD agent engine supports pluggable input modules, both community developed and custom. This makes Treasure Agent able to accommodate the vast majority of server-side data collection scenarios. The easiest way to send data from an application to the Treasure Agent is by incorporating Treasure Data's client library in the application. The client library encapsulates the logic needed to format an event record for submission to the Treasure Agent, which makes sending events from your application as simple as a single library call. We have client libraries for Java, Ruby, Rails, Python, PHP, Perl, Node.js, Scala, and .NET. If you can't modify your application, the Treasure Agent can also tail a log file or another input plugin might be a good solution. For mobile applications that don't have a significant server-side component, it's more attractive to collect events on the mobile device and send them directly to the Treasure Data service instead of through a Treasure Agent. For these scenarios, we have mobile SDKs. We have SDKs for iOS, Android, and Unity-based games. For certain industries with special mobile device requirements, such as automotive telematics, we've also worked with customers to build custom embedded SDKs. For web-based applications, we have a JavaScript SDK that will send events directly from the user's browser to the Treasure Data service. This SDK also does not require the Treasure Agent to be used. If you receive data as files from an external data provider, or if you have a lot of historical data that you want to load into Treasure Data, it might be easier to use a bulk importer to collect the data. Treasure Data's command line interface tool includes a bulk loading capability. This bulk loader can also be scripted to create scheduled bulk loads or to be invoked at the end of a larger data processing workflow. If you want to add some smaller reference data that you have on your laptop, such as a list of customers or products, we've built a simple to use web-based file uploader. This is the easiest way to get smaller data files into Treasure Data using an intuitive and guided user interface. Now let's look at the access and analysis side. As streaming data arrives from the collectors, the Treasure Data Service organizes and stores the data in familiar tables. These tables are designed and optimized for time series, event-related data records that can have an unpredictable set of fields or columns. 
Every record has a time column, and as data is stored, Treasure Data partitions the data by this column so that queries using a time filter are significantly accelerated. A Treasure Data table is schema flexible. What we mean by this is the columns in the table are defined by the fields received by the collectors. So if you have an application or device that is sending events with four columns, and then you push a new version of the app or device which suddenly sends events with more columns, as the new records are received, Treasure Data will detect the new columns and automatically add them to the table. This means you can deploy apps and collect data without having to worry about the schema in the downstream collection system. You just send data to Treasure Data and it will automatically add the right columns, or even create the tables if they haven't been defined already. You can also set a table to auto-expire data based on the time column if you don't want to keep all the raw data forever. Once data is in the tables, Treasure Data provides multiple query engines to access and analyze the data. There is a batch-oriented SQL query engine, which is really good at very large queries often used for data transformation or large aggregations. There is an interactive SQL query engine, which is better for smaller, more focused queries that you would typically execute and wait for the results. And there's a batch-oriented Pig Latin engine for jobs where you want more control over how the job is executed. You do not have to pick the query engine before collecting data. You just choose the query engine when you run the query. All query engines work on the same tables. In fact, you can run queries using different query engines on the same table at the same time. You can access the data and run queries using any of the interfaces provided by Treasure Data. The most popular interface is the web-based UI. But we also have a command line interface which is handy for scripting or die-hard command line fans, and a REST API for application developers, and JDBC ODBC drivers to connect Treasure Data to data analysis tools. Any query you run can store the query results in Treasure Data as job output, or push the results to a destination outside of the Treasure Data service, like a MySQL or Redshift database, or cloud storage like Amazon S3, or even Tableau Server. Or you can store the results in a new table within Treasure Data. And any query can be scheduled so it executes automatically at some interval. Scheduled queries can be combined with pushing query results to an external destination to create a data collection and aggregation pipeline that runs completely in the cloud. Treasure Data is designed to connect to popular BI tools through the use of either the JDBC ODBC connectivity or by pushing query results to BI tools or applications that have their own data stores. You can have many tables in Treasure Data and it's common to organize these tables into collections called databases. You can also have many users participating in your Treasure Data account and you can set access controls on each user so they have read, write, or full access to one or more databases in your account. Customers use this feature to allow multiple business units or project teams to have their own databases and then grant any cross-functional users access to multiple databases as needed. So how do you get started? It's easy. First create a free Treasure Data account at treasuredata.com. Once you log into the console for the first time, you'll see a tutorial to help you run your first query. After that, try loading a sample data file using our guided web-based file uploader. Once you have the basic hang of things, it's time to hook up your app, device, or sensor using one of our easy-to-use collectors. Watch our other videos or check out our docs to choose the right collector for your situation. Welcome to Treasure Data.